It is going to be Australia versus the Netherlands. So I guess we can get ready on all of that. I'm gonna just let the uh, the uh, stream get ready. But um, in the meantime, just maybe talk about the um, the uh, teams a little bit. Australia coming out. They were actually top seeded, but came out second of their group, Group C. Uh, they were defeated by France in a 4-0 matchup. So this is gonna be a tough match for them since uh, Netherlands were actually the other way they were they were um, high seeded so seed number two and they took down Poland to uh, make it to the uh, first spot or the group so they're looking uh, very very scary yeah they have some right very now. strong double time players indeed they've got big child who's exceedingly strong at double time and they've got the famous happy stick he's you know he's a very big streamer and a lot of people have heard of his name one uh, of the fastest double time players. too yeah, exactly. He can do hard rock, but not as strong as some of the more specialized players. I think he tanks a little bit of accuracy when it comes to more difficult hard rock songs. But he's also proven he can be very, very accurate. Yeah, Synchro Star, another very strong hard rock player. Netherlands, uh, let's see. The, the players we've seen so far, Big Child, Happy Stick, Jackie Lamb 5, Kaisho, Synchro Star, and Taku, definitely. And uh, for Australia, it's been, it's been kind of the same roster, I, should, I, I am tempted to say. Um, fluctuating uh, a bit from some uh, sometimes, but um, for this match, looks like the starting lineup is going to be Box, Happy John, Flux Veins, and Gimli 32. And for uh, the Netherlands, it's going to be Big Child, Synchro Star, Taku, and Jackie Lamb 5. Amazing. I hope to see some of Kaishiro playing today. He's actually a winner of one of our monthly beat mapping contests. Mm. He's also on. He's also a member of the Bat. <coughs> And he also from time to time plays uh, Mouse, which is pretty cool. Yeah, very, uh, very good player as well. You, you're you're right to mention, but we should get going on some warm-ups in a few, in a few moments here. Once they are selected, I will announce them. So, I'm looking at the mods for this one, and I definitely think if there's one mod that uh, Netherlands definitely have the advantage over Australia, it is going to be double time. If only for the amount of a uh, good, of strong double time players that they have, then it will be responsible for Australia to ban out at least two of them. Yeah, we'll see how the uh, bans go for this one. I'm not gonna see them for a bit before the warm-ups are over, but it's definitely gonna be a good part of this match. It's just banning the right maps. I'm certainly expecting less hidden bands uh, between Australia and Netherlands, considering considering they've got some very strong hidden names here, especially Big Child, mm. he's probably the strongest on the board right now. Mm. In fact, he's by far the strongest hidden player here. Apart from, of course, our resident Tuglet. <laughs> oh god. Oh, they're doing this. Oh, oh my. Epic map. Okay, I need to see. Is this the tag for? No. No. Uh, it's the it's so okay, this, the solo is at least manageable. I've actually cleared it. But, uh, yeah. Um, this, could this be considered kind of a joke map? I, I guess it is, really. Uh, this is not I the tag for. Time, but not actually. Yeah. First time I reckon it was considered serious, but it was one of the more difficult maps. I mean, compare it to when Band Forever was first released, that was taken completely out. Yeah. I mean, it, it was one of the more difficult maps that was unheard of. And Chipscape too, they were groundbreaking, and I reckon this was one of those typical sort of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Yeah, definitely when, um, when Chipscape was released, it made a big splash and kind of actually bumped, um, Banned forever out of whack a little bit, but uh, yeah, Barcelona oh, yeah, Mikosu, Barcelona Mikosu, uh, mapped by DJ Pop, uh, one of our older mappers out there, been mapping since 2007. Um, definitely a gimmick map, this one. Indeed, this it's map very is actually... Oh wow, Taku play. Oh, what is this? What oh, is what this? is this? <laughs> I don't know what. I'm... Flashlight I don't hidden. Know. Okay. This is awesome. I guess this is one of the things we like to see. <laughs> I guess since there isn't much spacing in the J-pop maps, you could, you could go for that. But wow, 
Yeah, Big Shot's just saying help. Um, how about that? I don't think we're gonna see any full combos from this uh, this uh, Netherlands team, but we'll have to see how they do on it. Just to explain to people what's going on here, this uh, black circle on the screen is our flashlight mod, which reduces. I mean, you can see it on the screen it reduces the uh, the spacing you can see on the map. This is what we would say people memorize maps for. It's it's impressive to watch. It's uh, even harder to FC maps with flashlight enabled. Yeah, and, and not only that, the um, higher the combo gets, the uh, smaller the um, light becomes. Indeed it does. And it's widely recognized as the hardest mod to practice just because it takes for uh, one player to just completely memorize the map. From start yeah. to finish. And look at Seeker Star. Yeah, he's actually doing very, very well for his team. Who got it? Very, very impressive. I think it takes an incredible mind to FC a song with flashlight in under 10 tries, such as people like Blue Oxy or Masita, one of our famous flashlight players from back in yeah. the day. Another legend in um, in flashlight is uh, Libidos. Uh, he was quite recognized in the day for, for uh, getting full combo with uh, on a masterpiece with uh, flashlights, something that nobody Indeed. had done before. That was done a long time ago as well. I think one of our one of the other notable people uh, is Nick Skate. He's uh, no, noted yeah. for having one of the most ranked ones uh, in the world um, on many hard, hidden, and easy songs due to his, his speed. But not only does he have incredible single tap, but he's also a very, very fast spinner as well as a very talented flashlight player. And I guess. Um... Netherlands kind of just going for the challenge on this one. You can see the accuracies apart from Synchro Star. It is a, a bit tricky for the rest of the the um, the um, team of Netherlands. And I mean, I wouldn't blame them. Just flashlight hidden is one of the worst mod combinations, so or hardest rather. Combined with one of the uh, most most gimmicky maps are uh, released. It's definitely not a uh, not an easy task at all. This web is just kind of hypnotizing in its own way, but it's almost over now. And I mean, of course, this is going to be a win for um for Australia since they didn't have that insane challenge, but. Yeah, we could call it really insane. It was fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. And, ooh, I don't have the uh, multiplayer link open so I can detail the stats. Give me a second. There we go. Yeah, as expected, a win for uh, Australia. Actually, uh, let me see this. Yeah, looks like Happy John disconnected right as the map ended. Uh, he scored in register, but it doesn't matter. Australia is still with the win. 9 million points even without a score. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking well, at the scores. Taku definitely didn't enjoy this one at all. Look at this well, very beautiful bees. Synchro Star actually doing a fine job. I mean, 8 million points, that's that's very good. I mean, that's more than Flux Veins got with no mod. What I feel is uh, very interesting about this map is despite having four flashlight hidden challenges here, there's actually only confer one confirmed hidden flashlight FC, and that's by Binjip from Korea. Oh god, they're doing this? Okay, our next map is Bag, uh, a map that is commonly known for having an infamously low approach rate. So low that it's <laughs> actually incredibly hard to tell what to hit. And, um... Of course, this comes from the um, the uh, game that it co that it originates from, which is Dance Dance Revolution, where the uh, scrolling speed of the notes is infamously slow on that song. So it, kind it's of my a, first a, time a to homage. see this map. So that again, Tillet. This is your like first time seeing Happy map. Stick too. Oh, if Milkyori was there, he'd have a field day with this one. <laughs> and it appears that Happy Stick is subbing in for Australia. 
Nah, he'll be sw- he'll be switching <laughs> in a few in a few moments here. It's always amusing to see that. Yeah. In fact, Color Toglet, we uh, have a couple of requests in chat asking who the commentators are. So why don't you introduce yourselves? Okay, well, I am Mr. Color. I'm the play-by-play commentator. You've probably heard of me if you've listened to um, pretty much any of the US World Cups. Uh, the previous host woke up sort of group stage. And I'm um, Tuglet. I mainly work as a math selector and I'm um, having a part time job here in commentating. And I'm Raiku. I guess I'm here just to uh, check facts, talk about the maps, and uh, have a good time. And we've got two people that will be commentating alongside us, um, apart from the guys that have just introduced themselves. They include Jesus1412 from England, and we also have the famous Z-Trot, who will be here with us very shortly. I'm sure you're all looking forward to that, as I've seen it in <laughs> chat. There's no hiding. Yeah. Yeah, that Z-Trot hype going. But for the moment, looks like we've got a bit of player swap for our both teams, actually. Uh, River Sticks is coming in for Australia. Um, he'll be replacing Gimli32. And for um, the Netherlands, two players were actually swapped. Taku Swap enough for Jackie Lamb 5 and Happy Stick. Well, actually, Happy Stick replacing t- replacing Taku and oh my, oh my. Everyone with easy mod. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> the easy As hide. if the approach rate wasn't low enough. Milhi will be happy about this. Yeah. Um, the map speaks for itself. I've, I've actually, I actually remember um, Jesus one for one two trying to play this map and having a hard time with it due to how low the uh, approach rate is. It's very hard to uh, to get a good performance going. But it looks like Happy John actually is uh, doing quite. I think it's actually approach rate zero. There are notes everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually uh, very interesting. This is an interesting fact. Uh, a lot of the top pros actually practice with uh, easy mod to practice the low approach rates because much of the time PP is acquired through playing AR 10.3 double time maps, which can make it very difficult to play low AR maps because you get very used to it. So some of the top pros play with low ARs and play with easy just to get more consistent for events such as these. Yeah. I point out Millie and Safagos <laughs> in particular. Yeah. Incredible. We we have in France also a very a very good uh, easy mod player known as uh, Ekoro or Al R J as he was known in the past. Ah yes. In fact, he's a regular uh, feature at the top of the list on some of these older maps by DJ Pop. In fact, yeah. DJ Pop m- mapping most of the maps in 2007, 2008. He mapped in a typical uh, grid style, which is uh, very yeah, different definitely. to the flowy maps we see today. Our bag is a quite an, quite an old map too. I mean, several uh, um, several years old at this point. And yeah, the map is coming to a close pretty soon. I guess grid style can be best described as linear, very straight lined, and uh, lots of stacks, lots of straight line streams, yeah. straight sliders, kick sliders. I could go on and on. Yeah, right angles and stuff That's like that. Thing. Okay. Some of the more famous grid maps include Rainbow oh, Tyler. Oh wow! So many players have failed, but looks like ha- uh, Happy John will carry his team to the second through the second warm up. Uh, he actually did very, very, very. Well. Um. He went with the easy, but only six misses uh, on bag. That's actually quite impressive. But anyway, we had some fun with those warm ups. We'll get into the meat of the match in a few moments with the bands coming in and the uh, first map pick. So we should have the bands in view very shortly. So 
like we're seeing an appearance again of the infamous OWC bin. And if you <laughs> haven't yet, do rename your recycle bin to OWC bin. I've had mine named for a year. Oh, well, I never used the bin actually, I just always used, uh, always used, um, delete to delete stuff, so. Or RM if I'm if I'm the uh, if I'm in the uh, command line unit or command line unit I should say but whatever. Um, yeah, still waiting on those uh, on those bands, but we should get our first pick in a few moments here. I like to think that me and Zetrot's cats could well be responsible for all this. Because they're literally getting up in our faces. The only time that concentration is in, as important as it could be, they come right up there, trotting right up onto our laps. Well, definitely. When it's when you're not giving them attention that they that they want it. I understand that's how cats work. Well, I don't have one, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have one too. I want to say you're missing out. Alright, and so we've got some bands incoming. The first one is actually going to be a Nomad band, Snow Prism. Uh, so, oh, and then we've got two um, Hard Rock bands with uh, Sarabai Toshiki Kanashimi Tachiyo and uh, Hiatus. This says a lot about the two teams. In my opinion, the only... No mod ban is the one that's CS5, which is smaller circle size, which means increased aim and more control. Two hard rock bands, in fact the two ones that seem to focus more on aim and control, are also removed from the game. And I think that tells me that aim, I guess, could be the weak point here. But that doesn't really add up in terms of happy stick. But what I did say about the, both these teams, and they are, they are very hidden strong, so I'm not at all surprised by these bands. In fact, I did call this earlier. And I think last ban is that double from double time pick. Uh, I haven't seen it actually. What is it? It's Precious Friends. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's the one we haven't seen. And right off the bat, we're going to see a hidden pick. No surprise there. It's the aptly named map Invisible. <laughs> oh, I love this map. <laughs> I really like what you did there, Tobert. <laughs> it's hidden and invisible. Alright, here we go. I'm uh, sorry about that. I have my uh, my kind of crashed for a second, so there we go. I'm all I'm all good back now. But as you said, it's definitely going to be invisible on hidden. Another Natsume Rim map, a uh, similar one with we saw in group stage. Uh, Shinkaran, but pretty different. Uh, there are lots of points which is actually different from that uh, Shinkaran code variant. And we are starting. It seems that Synchro Star and Jam Jelly from Netherlands have broke combos. 
Yeah, that's right. It looks like Australia is actually in the lead uh, at this moment. Here comes a brick from Box, though. I think these are just very simple reading misses. I think this is just the case because I noticed that they missed some particular points that I actually had to practice myself as a hidden player. Yeah, tons of misses left and right actually. Happy John Rivers takes are all combo breaking. This is so surprising. And possibly to that I could be biased as a hidden player, but I'm actually very surprised people are missing this early on into the map. Well, exactly. it looks like, you, you uh, get the point. It looks like, um, actually the Netherlands have been able to take the most of it, and Big Child and Happy Stick with a good combo right now. Uh, only Flux Veins is going on for um, for uh, Australia right now, so they're they're in a good shape. We just have to keep it up. And there goes the commentator curse. <laughs> well, commentator curse for Australia definitely. Flux Veins broke broke combo, but Big Child and Happy Stick they're still holding strong. For players who does not excel that much in hidden this map would be hard as hell because you need you need, it requires a lot of reading skill oh yeah definitely sometimes it's a little bit difficult to tell um how the um, how the map is laid out uh from maps by uh, Natsumer and so I definitely see where you're coming from and it looks like Right now, um, the Netherlands have taken off with their score 10 million points in the lead and just Happy Stick and Big Child carrying this one away with a great score and a great accuracy. Just to give you guys a quick update, we've got ahead of us Ukraine versus Thailand. Thailand, Taiwan. Ukraine versus yeah. Taiwan. Sweden versus Japan within the next two hours. Every player missed, so we'll see no, we'll we'll not see a full combo here. Yeah, no full combos in this one. It doesn't look like. Again, I'm just gonna say I'm surprised. Well, it looks like this is still going to be a win for the Netherlands. Uh, they're going to they're going to make the best of this one, winning by 11 million points. Big Child and Happy Stick, uh, most notable performances. Happy Stick with 13 million points. Big Child with 12 million points. And then for the third place, Flux Veins takes it with 6 million points. He's quite far behind. So pretty much those two players carrying the um, the uh, team of the Netherlands. They would actually have. With with those two scores alone, they they are already uh, were beating um, Australia all by themselves. So that's a good performance Indeed. from them. Before I make a big announcement, um, I'm actually surprised people aren't uh, seeing these hidden picks. I'm hoping to see some in the future. I think they're proving to be very challenging. But chat and everyone, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I introduce to you guys <laughs> Zetrot, our uh, our commentator of the year. Oh, thank you. Hello Zichar, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing good actually, I just got woke up here and it looks like uh, they actually are starting off with a do nada. Well, do na na na, the no guard difficulty? Yeah, looks Dan like that's do nada. Dan do nada. That's the first <laughs> time we've music. seen this, it's a nomad pick. This is All my right. favorite nomad pick, it's proper jungle music. Coming from London it's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I kind of do want to also point out, like what Reiki was saying earlier, I don't think anyone full comboed that uh, invisible map just now. Nope. That was all A's, wasn't it? It was just a, of... a strong performance from Big Child and Happy Stick to make that count. Yes, and that's actually pretty um, uh, strong play from Netherlands there, because Australia, bear, uh, they had the lead at the beginning. I've been here with you guys for a little bit, just setting everything up. Well, actually, this next uh, one, I, I expect since it's a Renard uh, song, I expect definitely high speed, maybe a lot of jumps, lots of streams. Uh, I'll tell you something about this technical. map. This is uh, the No Guard difficulty, which um, is one of his lesser difficult maps in terms of craziness, but from mm -hmm. playing this map, and here we go, Still um, no from playing map. this map, Indeed, but from playing this map, a lot of the streams are actually very, very tightly packed, very close. I think they run at about 200 BPM, uh, so it's not particularly 
super super fast but it's still challenging enough the jumps are what i think make this map they're very difficult we've got some artists artistry from melted cheese here he seems very happy yeah yeah melted cheese yeah. is coming in to replace um river sticks and uh taku replacing damn jelly for this one mm. and like he said I, I think cursor movement is definitely one of the main things for this map here indeed love stop start this is uh, this is definitely very jump intensive in its jump stages. It's got some very difficult stream patterns at the very end of the song, which I think people will find challenging. But none of the streams are particularly too spaced out, as you'll see. Now the streams are probably more of the um, saving grace here. It's they're actually a little bit on the easier side to play. It's the like octagon pattern jumps that really kind of. Yeah, octagons are, I find, one of the hardest shapes to master, uh, to aim properly. It looks like, actually, the uh, Australian team's having a bit of trouble with this one. Um, Bob's the only one with a full combo on his team. He's got a double S as well, so he's at least got a good accuracy. But on the other side, it looks like the Netherlands, they have two full combos. And uh, Taku following with, uh, actually, a very good, full com uh, very good combo as well. Synchro Star and Big Child, though, with a full combo, they're looking very good. I'm going to go ahead and give everyone a pro tip here. When it comes to very difficult patterns, sometimes it's very, very wise to see them as not as a whole pattern at once, but as two notes, maybe three note chunks, so you have a better time dissecting the pattern in a short space of time, which makes it mm. essentially easier to read. Alright, Happy John and Nothing Cheese with another combo break. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just me, or this could be something for other players, but the one of the harder things that coming into one of these maps is not really the stream so much but the major change from stream to large out patterns and this map has a lot of that indeed indeed it does i think one thing that a lot of people keep in mind when mapping a map is average cursor movement is in the spacing between the notes in the stream and the slider velocity and jump distance which means you're going to be moving your cursor at different speeds a lot of the time within a map, which I think contributes to the technicality within a map. Which makes it very difficult. There's a bit of a streamy part here, and a big challenge, Synchro Star, still with the full combo. So it's Box, he's lost his double S, but... Uh, oh, and the map's already finished, and looks like there's going to be another win for the Netherlands. Uh, they've looked very, very dominant in this one too. Two full combos. Uh, coming the way with Synchro Star and Big Child. Synchro Star with only five 100s. What a great performance! He gets 13 million points all for himself. Box is second place, almost at 13 million, 10 million, uh, 10 um, 100s in a full combo. And Big Child takes third place, also with a full combo, 20 100s, 12 million points. Uh, Taku actually comes really close. I think he he had a very very early miss into the map, and then proceeded to full combo the rest of them. So uh, he gets 11 million points as well. Very strong. Uh, play from him and uh, just like that the Netherlands will take their second point into this match um, Australia they need an answer now because um, coming into this match Netherlands have looked fantastic I'll give you a bit of trivia here actually uh, coming from the UK this uh, song that's just passed Renard the new nutter uh, actually comes from one of my favorite artists in England called shy effects whose background track to this which Renard has kindly remixed into an awesome song is actually called Original Nutter, so you guys should check that out. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, I didn't know that actually. That's 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 interesting, definitely. Yeah, fun fact: with most Renard stuff, it's actually resampled music. Yeah, remixes. It's usually yeah, some it's really good jungle music. Most of his tracks, he's got a very good taste in music. All right, and our next map has been selected. It's going to be another Nomad pick. It's going to be Kakushi Goto. Ah, this one. Uh, we and didn't get a chance. Looks like, yeah. Looks like we're gonna get some player swaps for both teams, actually. Uh, Gimli32, he's coming mm. in, he's going to replace uh, Happy John, it looks like. And uh, Secret Star might be swapping out here for um, for the Netherlands, maybe replaced by Kai Shiro. Uh, no, he's back in, alright. We actually had a chance to play a couple of these maps. Uh, at the conclusion of the group stage last week, and um, this is one of them. And I guess I just don't play that much anymore, but this is definitely one that was leaving me um, wanting to smash my keyboard. 
Then again, I was wanting to smash my keyboard a whole bunch when we were playing some of the uh, double time picks. Oh, I don't. Double time. Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell. If you're not used to double time, it's it's a pain. <laughs> and this is pretty dense now. You see notes everywhere. So we are well, starting. Let's see who will take it. It looks like Box actually with a very, very early miss for uh, Australia. Oh, that's sad to hear. This is certainly one of the easier no mod picks, in my opinion. Less spaced out. Oh, it looks like that might have been a potential drop on the Netherlands side, or is that just me, guys? No, I think you're right, actually. It looks like, um... Happy is it? This yep. might work in favor of Australia here. It kind of... it definitely will. I mean, three full combos at the moment. Melted Cheese with a double S, they're looking in control. Now, the team of Netherlands is coming in with three full combos, so they're in good shape as well, but um, I don't think that's going to be enough to beat the Australian team on this one. Happy Stick is back, but since he you player dropped, this is probably going to be a concession from, um, from the Netherlands here. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, unless uh, for whatever reason Team Australia was to um, tank. Because we have seen 3v4s uh, come out in favor for the team of 3 before, but it's not looking like that's going to be the case here. Yeah, Medici is still with the double S, so it's Taku actually from the uh, team in the Netherlands. And, I mean, Box is the only one who's missed for, uh, for Australia right now, so even if he misses, the other 3 players with a full combo, that would be enough to uh, stay level with this, um, this team of uh, the Netherlands. I'd like to see Big Child play some hidden maps today. He's like a complete wizard with that thing. He's definitely the wizard of the hidden mod on this playfield today. Hmm. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been tough. I mean, really tough if Happy Stick was, uh, you know, disconnected. It probably would have resulted in a win for the Netherlands, all things oh. considered. But yeah. it would have been close, definitely. I'd like to agree with Color on that one. But Box definitely with a lucky break on this one. I mean, he's the only one to have broken combo, but it looks like that might not matter. Oh, Synchro Star with a miss. He completely overshot that jump. And I guess that's the final blow? I guess but so, yeah. That looks about to be like the final nail in the coffin in any terms of turning this around. However, nothing is set in stone for, for either of these teams. Uh, it's pretty much going to be 1-all, so... Or 2-1, I'm sorry, 2-1. <laughs> so, I mean, it, they will concede one, but Netherlands still in the driving seat of this one. They shouldn't um, worry about it too much, as long as they can get stable connection for the next ones, they should be in the clear. Indeed. I think this is a... Uh, I think Netherlands certainly have the upper hand in this particular uh, stage of the tournament. Just considering well, that much of the many of the map sets, they certainly have a lot of coverage of each mod.
which is uh, very important. Yeah, score difference of 38 million. And actually, the top score comes from Taku, the uh, Dutch player, with only one 100 in the entire map. Could have been SS, got really close, so didn't melt it. Cheese with only two 100s, but none of them managed to pull it off, sadly. But that's going to be a win for uh, Australia. We'll make it 2 1. But um, obviously, uh, Netherlands still in the driving seat. If they can get Happy Stick with a stable connection, they shouldn't be worried too much. That's very important, considering they're their star player, arguably, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. definitely. But I think, that could to be, be honest, detrimental. Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, with disconnections, you're pretty much robbing uh, other teams. You're pretty much robbing them of um, an opportunity to succeed, despite how well the other players are playing. I, I guess it's just fluky. It's not brilliant, but it happens. You've got to take a look at And another Nomad pick selected for our next map. It's going to be Sayonara Licking Ultia. It's surprising to see you're not seeing any double time picks from here. Yeah, but so far the Nomad has worked from either side really, so not surprising to see to see it be picked. I mean usually when the uh, when one team doesn't really know uh, what will work against another team, they just default to Nomad and try to, you know, get as many full combos on it as possible. Usually a pretty viable strategy. Oh, Happy John is back in, maybe he's gonna be replacing Bokes. So we're actually moving on to the map, the uh, Ujuni Sekoyu P. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah. Uh, Sayonara Lechenoltia. I love trying to pronounce these maps, it's a real challenge <laughs> for me. I practiced beforehand. As we, you can we, should, we, should, tell. we should give it a round of applause to color, practicing all this pronunciation. <laughs> really Absolutely. I'm used to it. It all started in 2011, when I, or, or sorry, in 2012, when I had to pronounce um, Macwell Sochitl a bunch of times. Macwell Sochitl, did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Brilliant. A prodigy. I really quite like those uh, gypsy jazz and electro swingy type maps, like oh, yeah. the folky sort of music. They seem to be mapped really well. They're, all those sort of songs are just made for Osu. Well, they, they allow definitely some very interesting patterns in them, so I, I quite like them as well. Looks like Flux Veins with a very early combo break from Australia. It's better to get it done now than get it done later, though. So. That's true. Absolutely. Combo is the most important thing in this, comp in this competition when accruing points. Seeing as they are the determining factor as to which side oh, wins. Oh, a miss from Happy John, though. That's gonna be bad for the uh, Australian team, and look yes. at that! Look at that accuracy from the uh, from the uh, Dutch team. Very, very impressive. It looks like even early into the map, uh, the Netherlands are in control of this one. I mean, it's not the end for Australia, they can fish it back, they can really pull out some hardcore fisherman tactics and put it out of the bag. It's never the end at the start. And see, it's it only about 45% through the song. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard to get the uh, Dutch team to bite the bait though, since Big Child, Superstar, <laughs> and a Happy Stick, they all have a full combo right now. Taku actually broke, but that's still three full combos um, in effect, with very strong accuracy as well. And it actually looks like Gimli32 might have broke as well, so that's definitely not looking good for Team Australia there. No, not at all. I mean, there's already a pretty huge score of leads for uh, the Dutch team, about 10 million points, so coming back is going to be difficult, especially if uh, things keep going like they are. I'd have to mention that Melted Cheese is doing a good job for his team. Absolutely, and considering the difficulty of this map pool compared to the um, the opening map pool at the start of the competition, the, uh, the knockout stages, sorry, the um, group stages, I mean, they rise by about 0.20 stars, which is a lot considering in a professional competition. This is definitely putting pressure on oh, everyone. Yeah. And considering it is a world stage, people are going to miss, and it just happens. So... In this case, people are handling it very well, and if you don't miss and you score a, com a full combo, that's an incredible achievement, and everyone has to remember that. Yeah, definitely. 
Very, yeah, very impressive combo from uh, Melt 3D Cheese, though. Indeed, see, this is what I meant by fishing it back. Yeah, but it looks like that's not going to be enough. I mean, 40 points, uh, yeah. in the, 40 million points in the hole for um, Australia right now. You've got a Happy Stick, Synchro Star, and Big Child still going with their full combos. It just looks like uh, the Netherlands will not want to budge. Absolutely, the they're all very consistent. The bait didn't work. <laughs> I like that. Uh, well done to both of you for catching on. It's going to be uh, <laughs> fisherman jokes for the rest of the day. <laughs> yep. I think we can Look make that happen. The <laughs> oh, my, don't don't do this. Don't start this Z-Troy. Oh, we can we can. <laughs> we've done this with cool clocks. You know how far we can go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of this one. It looks like that's going to be a very dominant win for the um, the Netherlands on this one. Let's check out the detailed results. We've got. After I refresh the page, there we go. 53 million points of difference. Wow. I guess that's what happens when you select long maps, eh? Uh, the best score actually comes from uh, uh, Team Australia. Melted Cheese takes the, takes the first place with 31.8 million points. Very, very strong performance. Too bad his team didn't really follow up. Uh, Big Child takes second place with 31 million points as well. He gets a full combo to boot. Um... And third place comes from Happy Stick. Didn't get quite get the full combo, but he got close enough. He gets um, he gets 29 million points. Very good performance as well. And just Netherlands with a dominant performance. They take this one and they make it 3-1. It's always very interesting to see a shining star amongst a team that's actually below in points. I mean, one of my uh, favorite examples is Gone, uh, who's been so strong in all difficulties and all uh, mods and he was just that one guy who in particular stood out for me as a sort of MVP in this tournament being a complete I mean not say that his team didn't do well since they they did very well but gone very much stood out as a shining star in the rough it's finally a double time pick yeah it looks like unfinished is our next double time pick and looks like we've got a sub coming in for Australia mm-hmm Maybe Bucks coming back in. Very possible. It's great to see Austria in action. They actually picked this double time pick against Netherlands. That's a bold move. They can, if they can pull it off, all the best to them. Absolutely. And this is the faster map. This is something that uh, I expect Netherlands to achieve quite well on, considering its speed and BPM. I'll see how they can do on it. This has the longest streams out of the double time pick, so this is really showing its difficulty in the tournament. So I take it this is actually one of the double time picks? It is. Alright. I've seen it last round in uh, China vs South Korea too. Yeah, I was busy looking at my eyelids. So this will be my first time seeing this double time pick. It's like early break from a big child for the Netherlands here. Oh dear! It seems that something's wrong with Happy John. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. Okay, well, um, so, um, the reason why Happy John is I'll not let you handle that one, Z-Try. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. So, the reason why Happy John didn't connect is because, unfortunately, it seems that he got a little bit too excited. <laughs> Sad John. Too excited. 
Sad John all over the place. Yeah, he's definitely sad John. He's everywhere in the chat. Depressed John, sad John, rip John. Yeah, probably got a little bit too happy. He's found the chat a little too much, and that's a silence, and you can't play when you're silenced. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. Definitely, he definitely got happy, alright. I'm very sorry <laughs> to break the mood, but it's a crucial point for Australian team, actually. And they're, they're actually hanging on very tightly here. We need to mention this because it's three full combos. Box Flex Veins and Math to choose with a very good performance. But is that going to be enough to beat four players uh, of the. Uh, Dutch squad, and it doesn't look like it. Melty Cheese just combo broke, and that's gonna be terrible for the for the Australian squad. Taku and Jackie Line Five with an amazing performance as well. They're, they're hanging on with the full combo. Yep, Melted Cheese. That, he was kind of their saving grace there for a moment, but unfortunately, running those three v fours is not easy. Yep, Melted Cheese is certainly this team's hardcore fish man. <laughs> Really yeah. and all Looks like he broke his line though. <laughs> and we now all know that getting too excited might really cause something to you. Yeah, yeah I Bosch mean, also would have missed and that, hook. It just looks like the uh looks like the uh, team of Netherlands will make it four one from that. That's gonna be an A three V four victory. That's gonna be uh, pretty much a win for the um the team Netherlands 6 million points and a top scorer comes from Flux Veins with 18 million points a full combo to boot very very strong performance but uh, the rest of the scores go in favor of the Netherlands with Jackie Lam, Fab and Taku a very strong performance they also get 18 million points respectively and it's now I believe 4-1 to uh, the uh, Netherlands so they are one map away from the quarterfinals yep and I mean, Happy John can definitely not be very happy right now. And I just, I gotta Whoops. feel for him. Bring it back. I'm actually gonna look at some stats here. Uh, considering if Netherlands do go through, uh, in the quarterfinals, they actually have an option to either face Germany or Russian Federation, depending on the results of that game. Now, looking at both teams, Germany and Russian Federation, they seem to be some of the stronger teams, especially Germany, who are actually the first to topple Korea in three years. Oh, so, yeah. that's going to be one of the more impressive matches. Netherlands versus Germany is definitely going to be one to watch next week. Yeah, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be one, of, one hell of a match, definitely. I'm not sure which side of the bracket I prefer. Considering you've got Germany, Russia, Australia, Netherlands, Ukraine, Taiwan, United Kingdom, and Austria on one side, and we've got Argentina, US, Sweden, Japan, Poland, France, China, and South Korea on the other. All right, and next map, oh, Fremont pick. Next map coming up is Lagomorphic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say this as a sort of map describer and say. Because I've heard this from a few people, namely uh, Portal Life. Um, I think this is sort of a free FC. It's definitely one of the easier maps. There's only one part I can really say is a little bit challenging, and that's about five to ten seconds worth of spaced out jumps. But with a bit of aim and luck, I mean, that's you're going to get that, especially under competition scenarios. I mean, the rest of it's pretty easily spaced. No severe streams, and this is definitely one of. I guess you could call this like an out. So if you're in trouble, you could pick this and low on accuracy. However, saying that, this is actually an OD9 map, which means it's a lot harder to hit the hit window, which means there's a greater chance of scoring a hundred on a circle, which means you're going to end up with lower accuracy. So we're really going to see the accurate players in this map. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. I, I've always liked a lot of the music from the Newgrounds Audio Portal. Yeah. It looks like we've got a sub from Australia also. It looks like Gimli32 might replace Flex Veins. It's funny to see a map like this in the free mod pick. I think this is recurring, but we had Knife Party Bonfire in the group stages, which was also an OD9 map, which obviously, like I said, relies on very high accuracy to score a high accuracy score. And this has came, this has come back, a recurring theme in the round of 16, with Lagomorphic also being an OD9 pick. I shudder to think what we'll see in the finals.
all the crazy stuff. Yep. It uh, looks like we've got some uh, player swaps. Relaxer coming in for uh, for our team Netherlands. So here we go. Yeah, it looks like we've got some some mods. Relaxer on Hard Rock, Big Child on Hidden, Box on Hard Rock, and Happy John on Hidden. Let's see how no that surprise. goes. No surprise from Big Child at all. I expect an FC. Nothing yeah. less. This map actually, uh, Lagomorphic, was uh, selected in the North American tournament, if I remember right. Because, well, maybe not the maybe not the most recent one, but the uh, I think it was the second one. It was the one that I selected maps for because I remember that one being in it. Actually, this map with hidden is kind of prone to randomness. The aims are pretty tricky. Yeah, it looks like so far Australia is actually getting the best of this one. Um, I don't think there's any breaks from them yet, and Relaxer and Synchros are have already combo broke, so Taku for the Netherlands. And Big Child broke as well at the early stage of the map. And looks like this one may be kind of a kind of a comeback for um, Australia. They're in the lead by about four to five million points. Uh, Box with a great score. He's got the full combo going for him. Uh, so does Melted Cheese. Big Child's doing well, but he doesn't have a full combo. Big Child is doing great with Hidden. And that's gonna be it, and looks like Australia will take their second points uh, in this map. Making it two. Let's see, let's check out the results. Yep, we have a win by 3.5 million points with Box. With an amazing performance, he gets the uh, Hard Rock full combo. Very, very nice. Uh, with 12 million points, he gets the top score. Big Child is right behind him at 11 million points. Didn't quite get the full combo, but he got close. Uh, he got a good score as well. And the uh, third place comes from Melted Cheese from uh, Australia. He gets 7.7 .7 million points with a Nomad almost full combo. He got one miss. But uh, Australia trying to make a comeback, uh, kind of reminiscent of what China did last round. It's now 4-2, so Netherlands still looking... Uh, very good right now, but they have to be careful of Australia coming back on them because that was a strong performance from them right now. Yes, yeah, so that brings it up to two to four. It's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like there's actually going to be a player swap on Australia's side as well. Yep, Flux Veins coming in. And uh, next map is going to be yet another Nomad pick, Matryoshka. Which we've seen last round. This is definitely a fun map. Very much quite, so. Pretty fast map, few, 200 BPM. Absolutely, and there's a few very, very interesting cross-map twisting and turning jumps that are arranged in quite an intricate style, which... Uh, I expect they're gonna get a lot of people. Dan Jelly is coming in for relaxer for the Team Netherlands right now.
and here we go. Lon yep. Matryoshka. And it looks like we've got like a little Pippi fan base in chat also. And it's already a miss from Flux Veins for uh, the uh, Australian team, which is not really what I want to be looking at, but damn Jelly also combo broke. It looks like actually Damn Jelly broke a few more times, which has allowed uh, Australia to take the lead at this point. Not a very substantial lead, though. They'll have to uh, they'll have to hope that they uh, can get more of a lead going later on to this map. But it looks like this is going to be possible. Damn Jelly is having quite a hard time with this map. He constantly misses. Yeah. Melted Cheese right now with a double S, I should mention. Very, very strong performance from him. Flux Veins has broken combo again, so that's not looking too good for the Australian team just yet. Oh, here's a miss from Melted Cheese. That's actually really bad for them. They're gonna give up the uh, lead to uh, the Netherlands, because Big Child, Synchro Star, and Taiko with a good performance right now. Oh, this looks grim. Oh, but Synchro Star with a miss. I think Box also combo broke. No, Synchro Star is fine, but Box definitely did break. And yeah, Melted Chief yet with another miss. Yeah, it looks like just uh, a dominant performance from uh, the Netherlands this time around. Big Child, Synchro Star, and Taiku, they are not letting up. And uh, I don't think there's any full combos left for uh, the Australian team and that's... I, don't, I just don't see them recovering from that. In just the uh, a span of a minute, um, the Netherlands have taken off once again in score and they're looking super good and Big Child, he's still holding on. Big Child has shown his, in his name, he's really coming big here. Yeah, I, you're right to mention that. So I mean, He's definitely been uh, one of the best players from this uh, Dutch team in this entire this entire game and for, so far pretty much every match. And at this point, the score difference is way too big. It's over 20 million points, and it's just not going to be possible for uh, Australia to come back. And this is looking like it's going to be another 5-2 victory to uh, Netherlands this time. They will go ahead and move on to the quarterfinal with a 23 million points victory and an amazing performance by Big Child getting 34 million points all by himself. Uh, they will advance. Synchro Star and Taku also with great scores 19 and 18 million points respectively. Taku almost short of uh, 19 million points. But it was a good uh, good performance from Australia, but they will be moving on to the losing bracket. And, um, and uh, as always, a strong dominant performance from this high-seeded um, Dutch team who will make it to the uh, quarterfinals this year once again. So that's it for this match. We've got another match incoming in a few minutes here. It is going to be um, Ukraine versus Taiwan. And actually, I'm going to be sitting this one out, so I'm going to leave commentary to you guys. Um, and I'll be back for the match afterward. Uh, so, good luck with it, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, see you later.